So the BattleBots Arena hackable electronics is basically done. Um, and it's taken a while to get there, but we're nearly there. Um, so I'm gonna give you a run through of the hardware and then also show you uh, the web interface. I'm gonna do the software side of it in a different video because there's, there's a lot. So this is um, the guts of the electronics. Uh, what we have here is a 48 volt power supply. And um, this is powering everything. The reason we need 48 volts is that um, basically this one's a bigger brother, a um, little solenoid. There's a bigger one that we use to run the flipper. It needs 48 volts to actually give a bit of punch. So that's why we're using that. It also makes it easier to just run lots of different things off. We don't need to worry too much about this dying on us. Um, We've got two step-down converters here that are changing it to 12 volts and 5.4, 5-ish 5 volts. It's just the Raspberry Pi's have been a fussy bitch when it comes to powering off this, so I had to go to 5.4, but it's working fine. Um, so we have the two there that are converting it down. We then have the guts of our brains, which are an Arduino here and a Raspberry Pi. So the Raspberry Pi is doing all of the heavy lifting so there's a web application running on this that's, that's vulnerable that people can try and hack and attack and get into if they get into it they'll get access to a page that i'll show you in a minute that will allow them to control all of the weapons in the arena it'll also handle all of the timings for a match uh, matches of a, a battlebots match last three minutes um, and at about halfway through that's when the pit opens the weapons become active all that stuff so it handles all the time and logic for that the Arduino is basically just our LED driver. That's all it's doing. It's running a ton of LEDs um, and it's getting signals from the Pi, uh, from that relay board actually, um, but controlled by the Pi, to basically tell it what color to um, change the LEDs to, how to flash them, how to do you know, all these things to basically give indicators as the fight progresses of you know the countdown at the start, three, two, one, go. Um, halfway through a little warning before everything activates then a ring activates, um, so the pit flippers, all that stuff, um, and then another countdown timer towards the end of the match. Um, so that's um, it's just handling all the functions which control what the LEDs do. The timings are all controlled from the Pi. It's just much easier to do in Python than trying to manage all that in C. Um, we then have our high voltage relay. This is what's controlling the flipper. Um, I have a lot of stuff hooked into this at the minute. Is just because I've ran out of ground. Um, this is our ground um, distribution board, effectively. Um, I ran out, I need more, so I'm going to need another one of them or get a longer one. Um, just We need about two or three more um, 12 volt, or sorry, uh, ground connectors just to hook everything up. Um, so that's why that looks a bit janky at the minute. This is our 12 volt, volt PDU, um, so it's then going to pretty much everything that's not these two. These are both 5 volts, everything else is 12, so it includes the solenoid here. Another relay, this is what's going to control the motors. Um, in the arena so there's spinners that spin round basically if a bot drives onto it they get thrown about the place a little bit there's three of them this relay allows us to control all three at the same time with one signal so just um, helps keep this a little bit less complicated um, but I'm just waiting on a socket arriving for that and um, I found that in Farset and I just had to use it it just looked awesome um, and then we have the relay board which is basically all of our switching so all controlled here um, from this mess of cables here which I've still yet to tidy um, I'm going to replace this with a, a ribbon cable of some shape or form just to make it look a little bit neater. Um, it's the only cable I haven't tidied yet. Everything else has been sort of tucked and, and snaked away, I think, as neatly as I can manage for now. Um, but yes, yeah, so all these control signals go to the relays and then they set off certain things. So um, triggering this for the spinners, um, this for the pit, um, all that good stuff. It's all controlled through these relay boards and I actually have two spare. So if we need to add anything else, uh, we can. Uh, this, as I said, is for the pit, um, and then down here is a little Alifa um, Wi-Fi adapter. This is connected to the Raspberry Pi. This is what's going to be run on the access point that people can connect to. So they connect to that access point, um, and then they'll be able to see the web page I'm going to show you. Now, before anyone says anything, this is the antenna for the Alifa. This is the power supply, antenna, power supply. I know. I know what you're going to say. I know. But it, it keeps it all contained. It's neat for now. If it's a real problem, I'll run a cable off and have the antenna mounted somewhere else. But yeah, I know, I know. Um, right, so that's all of the um, hardware. Uh, oh, the, the this little relay is going to be mounted here. Um, so I need to figure out something to do with this. I'll see if I can get like a right angle um, USB or something like that. And this is a lot of cable, so I might actually end up cutting this and just re-soldering it together just to make it a bit shorter. Um, but we'll see. But what I'm going to show you now is the um, web interface. 
So we're going to have this tablet um, on the day. This is what we're going to be using to control. It's just an old Kindle. Um, and whenever you, they access the um, web interface or whenever they log into the um, or get access to the to the Wi-Fi interface, um, they'll be prompted with this. And as you can see, there is some basic authentication in it. It does need a username and password. So I'll just type in my super secret password now. And then they'll be greeted with a web page. Once it loads, believe it or not, this is the Kindle that's being slow, not um, not not the not all this, which is surprising. It's amazing how quick this actually is. So I'm going to zoom in on that. So as you can see, I'm not a front end developer. I am going to get this tidy up a bit, but for the meantime, this is reasonably good. Um, so we can tap various things. So if I hit spinner on and spinner off, hopefully you'll have heard the click there. So if I just focus in on this, you should see this move. Easy as that. Same with the pit. If I come over to the pit, control the pit, and then the flipper isn't hooked up to anything apart from this relay. So if I hit flip, we should see that light up. And easy as that. And then I can also start a match, which then triggers everything as it goes through, including the um, the Raspberry Pi. That's it, basically ready to go. There's a few things we're still waiting on, like the socket for the three-way relay. Um, I then need to actually get this into the arena and all that good stuff. But like, it's basically there. As I said, I'll do another video showing on the code. But um, if you have any questions about this or any improvements you think I can make to it, um, let me know. Apart from cable management and the antenna. I know. <laughs> I know those need fixed, but yeah, we'll get there. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think.